Yeah. Welcome to the actual first evolution meeting that's being recorded and note taken uh, in 2021 today, January 27th. Um, I posted the minutes in in the chat and I will share my screen. I'll make that smaller and put it on one side, one screen. Um, and so what I thought we would do is I went through the, the metrics that we are working on. And I think there are three that are potentially uh, releasable, um, but require a little bit of work. So I thought maybe we could just use this time um, to work on them. Uh, if I open that one, um, the change request acceptance ratio, you can see there's been a lot of discussion and there's some visualization. So I think this one of the ones I looked at appeared to me to be the most releasable. Um, and I'm sure during the review period, Grimoire Lab will add their stuff to it. But we Sean, do you have the link to this post? Oh, it is in the minute, it is in the minutes, but I will also post okay. it in the chat, okay. which I have to go to. When I'm sharing, I have to bring up a chat window. Um, chain request acceptance ratio. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Right away, somebody's highlighting reviews because that is not what this is anymore. So yeah, go ahead and change that. Um, so. And um, Elizabeth, what has been our custom with regards to uh, recording during editing sessions? Do we stop the recording instead of uh, extending the video? Yeah, or I think we used to not, but we decided to to do that if we if we think of it, just because it's kind of boring for someone who's uh, who's watching. But okay. um, since okay. you're sharing the screen, like it's totally up to you because someone can you know watch. So whatever, whatever you want. Um, I, I tend to think shorter vid videos are, are better. So, all right. I'm so, a fan of short. Yeah. Yep. So we're working on the first metric, uh, change request acceptance ratio. I'm going to pause the recording. Well, some people may okay. just want to reconstruct. Certain Very good. So I've the restarted the, re I've restarted the recording, um, yeah. so that there's a full record of how we proceed with these edits. Yeah. Uh, since. You know, really, this one's been left open, um, and I've pinged uh, Grimoire Lab a couple times, waiting for their input. But I think at this juncture, uh, I'm going to accept. I won't accept my own changes because that seems a little circular. But um, I'll accept uh, other people's changes. There's something like a comment. Oh, there we go. Sean, I can accept your changes if it will be helpful to just kind of clean the doc up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think it would be. If, okay. You know, assume you, assuming you concur with what the changes are.
where would review where would um uh acceptance acceptance ratio doesn't really do we want to incorporate something along about um how long things are open versus closed that's probably a separate metric Sean, I see you're adding a bunch of random E's. No, <laughs> that, wasn't, that wasn't me, or I wasn't trying to. I could have been. Oh, I did. Okay, that was me. <laughs> I don't know me. what's happening. That was me. That <laughs> was totally, I have no idea. The, and I have no idea. Obvious, okay, obviously something went horribly wrong in my... I, I sometimes I maybe lean against my keyboard or something while I'm thinking. I don't know. I didn't realize I'm typing something. Uh, what did you say before that? You said something about something should be an a, additional metric. Um, so, for example, one of the ways that we've looked at. Um, change request acceptance ratios is to look at the length of time that pull change requests that are open. I'm sorry, the length of time a change request is open on, on average for, for the, in a period of time for those pull requests that are merged compared with those pull requests that are not, not merged. The most common uh, pattern is that pull requests that are not, not merged are open for a longer period of time than, than pull requests that are merged. And I've seen few exceptions to that. Um, Yeah, we have a change request duration. Um, so I feel like that would be a filter then on that, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we do. I'm thinking we don't include the time, the uh, sort of length of being open in this. I'm accepting my changes that are simple grammatical corrections. how to capture this openness. Um, so that's a good question. I think um, perhaps the, whether the pull request init is initiated from a branch within the project or a fork of, of the project is one way of indicating whether it's an in sort of a, a you generally aren't able to push to a branch of a repository unless you have some kind of privileges on that repository. So the origins, whether it's a branch, whether it's a branch review, uh, uh, change request, or a forked change request might be an indication of that Armstrong. Okay. So, um, so I guess, um,
And um, Sean, when you're done with that, I yeah, have a question. Good. I don't know if this all needs to be here. I tend to um, explain or use too many words, but. more commonly from outside contributors. I think we both just spell check that at the same time. Oh. Okay, what did you do? Uh, uh, I'm gonna accept both of our changes and then fix it. Co-editing sometimes. Sorry about that. No, it, it, it happens in Google Docs. Originally, I spelled originated right. That's just Google's problem that it doesn't understand the word, isn't it? Maybe it wants you to like hyphenate it or something. Branch, maybe you call it originating. Maybe it will accept that word. Yeah, I did. There we go. At least spell check that word into a useful word. I don't know if I should. Uh, I think we have the comment captured in video. Armstrong, should I remove your comment or leave it in? No, you, I think if it is, I uh, can remove it because I was just trying to make sure we. Reason along the line. Yeah, I'm just going to edit it. I'm just going to accept all my changes of review to change request. The angle visualizers, are they all open source? Yeah, these are all in, um, the, actually these visualizations can now be de uh, generated using um, uh, Augur community reports. Okay. So I'm gonna insert a, I think there's a footnote. I was just asking in case an outsider's organization want to use our metrics to measure the activities. So if they have to follow our instructions, they can actually use Angle or any other thing we su suggest freely. Put that foot in a really weird place. And this could also be a good candidate for time series analysis. I, oh, I think you did something down there, this pool. It's a kind of, okay, yeah. I thought of it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to basically create a carriage return at the top of this page so I can type. There we go. Can can you can we add the like we can we name these figures because sometimes if we need to refer to them the best way to do it would just be like figure one, figure two, figure three. All right. We need figure. Thing. I'll call this. This is figure one. Okay. Um. I know there is a way of doing that using the caption uh, option. I don't know that. Option. Yeah. Um. Image options. Let's see. Uh, you would, you would 
think caps I mean the images come with captions, but um This, I guess, would be probably the next. Oh, did I? Okay, my keyboard just went mad again. What did? What did I do? I don't know what I did here. All right. I guess I call this figure two. And that's basically with our foot out. Because that's actually directly from Augur. Yeah. I guess. So I don't need to footnote figure three because I think it's pretty obviously from the same source as figure two. Just if that still works. Oh, what do we think of this one? Man, thank you, Elizabeth, for finding all those other instances of reviews. Sorry if you all talked about this already, but um, should we ping Grimoire Lab again, or what do we want to I mean, do with that? So, I mean, my thinking is that we pinged them several times on this metric in the summer and didn't get a response. So I am sure we will get a Grimoire Lab visualization during the review period. Um, we, we could ping them, but I don't want to, I also don't want to hold up the release of the metric. Um, and I'm like the review. I think I guess my take would be that we definitely want a Grimoire Lab metric in here. Um, and when this circulates, they'll they'll create one. 
because I'm sure okay. they, I'm sure they have. I'm sure. They, I mean, I, don't, I. But if you have a different opinion, um, I mean, we could ping them on. I'm, I'm just trying to keep my inbox managed. Yeah. No, I think that's fine. And these should probably be just to the GitHub repo. I am expecting in every way that Grimoire that. I, I think, you know, would it be presumptuous to add a link to Grimoire? I guess I don't know which Grimoire Lab tool would be the one that quote unquote provides this metric to you, Elizabeth. But it, yeah, so I can't point anyone out of that to a specific repo. So I'll leave, uh, I'll, I assume there'll be some Sean, for the time series analysis, I will suggest you make the X axis. Uh, it, you can in, incline it, make it like 45 degrees so that we really capture the points. You see what I mean? Because sometimes uh, it's difficult. 45 degree X axis, what does that even look like? Yeah, because if you do it to make it uh, a slant, like let's say 30 or 45 degree, we will really see the points where they really mark the, where the different time series occurs. Do you have an example of a visualization that has a yes. 45 degree X axis? You see April 2017, then you have July 2017. Sometimes it's really difficult to see the specific point where, especially if the things are- so Oh, the labels, you want the labels to yeah. be angled. Um, yeah, that uh, I can't make that change before the review period begins, but um, I guess it's the question of does the working group want to hold up this metric until that change is made, or do we want to make that suggestion during the review period and address okay. it then? Mm -hmm. That's a, basically a question for you, Armstrong. Sorry. So, it's the 27th, and I think the, the metrics have to be submitted for release by the 31st, which is Sunday, I suppose. Um, okay. okay. Uh, and I, I can't make this change before then. Okay. So our choice would be to either not release this metric or let. Well, this is a minor thing. We can still release this just for visualization, right? Yeah. And I would, yeah, I would guess I would, yeah. Um, let's. And when we release metrics for review, is this the process through which Kevin takes this and puts it into actual markdown? I know after the release period, when the freeze happens, they do some cleanup, then they put it. Yeah. So um, uh, I'll leave a comment in here and let Kevin deal with it. At first, I thought you were saying, Armstrong, that the x-axis itself should be at 45 degrees. And that's that's the part of that is trying to like, wow, I'm, like you've got some super kung fu visualization knowledge here that I don't even know about. Uh, so that's why um, at first I was puzzled, but now I understand. Um, do we want to... Uh, I guess if people agree with the edits I made, somebody could accept them. Okay. Um, and then, um, okay, just one thing in this uh, description for figure one, we use the word, uh, the second line, pull request open per week in the first case and closed pull per week 
in the second case? Did we describe the first and second case some way for people to understand what we are talking about? Because it seems it's just appearing out from nowhere. Where is the first case and second case language? Go to figure one. Uh, yeah, beneath the figure, you have these two visualizations are provided. Oh, yeah, then maybe um, the next two visualizations. If you read the second line also, it has this pull request open. Yeah, paper. this is confusing and then this. I don't know. This whole, I think that whole paragraph could could go, um, uh, because I each of the visualizations itself is captioned, mm -hmm. and you know I don't want. I guess I'm the way it's written. It's like a like a billboard for Augur, which is of course not the intention of a metric, and I I don't think we need it. I don't think we need that paragraph at all. What do you think? yeah it's a bit confused a bit ambiguous yeah yeah i i i vote we delete this entire paragraph okay if you agree you can accept yeah. the change hi king just to let you know there are three uh potential metrics that uh we're considering for that have the potential metrics for release that are far enough along and we're working on the first of those three right now um, and let me just repaste the minutes let's see this is the one we're working on right here uh, and then the minutes are right here oh you can't read google docs can you or can you can you, can you read google docs can yeah i can access it oh yeah yeah, I can, I can access okay. it, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, you can put your name in the attendee list if you wish. Um, going back to this metric, um, without, I, I guess, if there's no further discussion, I suggest we put this forward in the spreadsheet as ready for release. This is change. This is a change re request. Ratio, wait a minute. What, which, is, which one is this? Change request Sorry. acceptance ratio. So yeah. we would say this one should go under. How, how does the, I, you know, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, if I say it's under community review, do I need to then, do we need to tell Kevin about it or do they just know? It's no, I think you have to put a PR in and open an issue. Sorry, Armstrong, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Open an issue, oh right. In, inside of our repository, we create an issue for each of the metrics that we're gonna review. Okay, um, yeah, it's been a while since we did this. I need to um, make sure I... Those out. Okay, I made a note in my micro to do list. All right, so for now, I'm going to call that one ready to review. Hearing no objections. Um, the next one, uh, there are two others, and I'll just open them both and we can decide which one to work on first. This is branch life cycle. We've spent a good deal of time on this one more recently. I have no idea. Yeah, I, think it's, I think this metric is the, this is opened by me. Branch okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I, I open it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, let's, I mean, Elizabeth, do you want to go through and accept things that you think are acceptable that are mine? Uh, King, are you space fish? So, sorry, Shan. I, I, I'm sorry. I can't follow you. What, is what, your? What? I don't know if you see my. Can you see my screen sharing? There's a user called Space Fish. Or Space. Oh, I don't know. Fish. Is that uh, you? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. It's not me. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh. Me. Yeah. They're providing oh. useful feedback. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. I can review it. Yeah. Uh, 
I think the creator is uh, awesome. I I think it's very 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 good. Is a, a great creator. Yeah, I think I think this metric is uh, more mature than the first one we looked at when we started. I'm going through and accepting changes that are not mine. Mm -hmm. Default branch name if that makes sense. Okay, yeah, on the branch life cycle, I think we should be consistent with our word. If we are talking about destruction and deletion, we mean the same thing, but two different words that can create a little bit of confusion here. Uh, which page are you? I guess page on number. Description, the branch life cycle. The description? Yeah, we started by talking about the actions that could be performed on a, a, a repository branch. We talk about like the creation, the deletion, things like that. Then we need. Yeah, um, death is equals death. Death becomes deletion. Yeah. Death it's equals deletion. Equals death. Okay. Pretty sure there's a HBO sitcom about that. <laughs> See, I'm not sharing my full screen here. Okay. Okay. I'm reading it right now. Oops, I did the edit instead of the suggest. It was just a typo. I just did that too, sorry. Yeah. Think period during which change requests are considered as intended as a second bullet point. It just didn't get Google fied that way. Same with this one. Probably don't want to leave for more lab in strikeout mode. I'm trying to think if this is in, this is, um,
because we don't actually have this in the straight up Augur dashboard. It's something that's in the community reports that we've started to develop. Um, but we have the data. We, we collect all of the pull request data, like all of the pull request data, including, including the detail of every review. Uh, now, You know, ordinarily, I would ask the question if we need to describe get in a metric, but I think this is kind of a very, this is part of the depth of get that a lot of people don't get to analyzing. And I think this explanation is helpful for understanding what the hell, what, what this metric is for. So. Um, I agree with that. I like that it's in here. Is this what you're trying to say, King? Is that many in basically cover the entire market. Is this what you is it are we trying to say that um, that people are using the same branch remotely and pushing their changes? Because so, sometimes that does happen if you have multiple yeah. developers working okay. I just want to make sure I was reflecting the true intent there. I think I think that's true. I think that's a valid criticism that that really when it comes to the actual repository data, there's not much you can get from GitHub about the branches. When they become pull requests or merge requests, that's a different matter. But like every Git repository, I think to your point, whoever space fish is, um, each I mean, I can get everything. I get all the I can get all the repository comments and everything out of the Git log. I don't need GitHub or GitLab for that. Um, when we go to pull merge requests or change requests, then there's platform data issues. There's platform data, but that there's not much at the branch level that I can think of that isn't in the commit log. <clears throat> Oh, I love this. I remember this now. You shared these very useful links with us earlier in the development of this metric. Oops. 
And I'm desperately trying to get that to appear like a link. And I don't know why it's not. Why is this one being a jerk? Now I highlighted it, it recognizes that the link. I think, all right, now I can see it as a link. Sorry, that was bothering me. And should the specific description of Git, should this be a, uh, should this be a header level here, this text? Right now it's uh, bolded text, which, which might be fine. I don't have an answer. I'm just asking the question. I guess if it's wrong or out of style, Kevin will inform us. <laughs> yeah, he'll clean it up. I don't know the answer. Um, what, John? what, Armstrong? What was your question? Oh, just if um, if this should be like using markdown header symbols or just the bolding and my own answer to my question is I have no idea and we can just leave it like it is and if it's wrong, Kevin will tell us. Yeah, we can leave it like that. <laughs> in Kevin, in Kevin, I trust. Um, <laughs> so, so Kevin, does Kevin uh, uh, familiar is the, the GitHub API? Um, well, he's not familiar with the GitHub API. I'm really only talking about the um, the markdown presentation of this heading specific description of get whether it should have whether it should be bolded as that markdown indicates or whether it should be at a heading level and i actually have no idea because it's not a conventional yeah. part of the metric but i think it's essential here so yes. rather than us try to guess i think we'll do it we'll leave it as it is and kevin will then tell us that that formatting is not the appropriate style and the rest of the text has two stars this one has one, I don't know why. I can't it's remember what. It has aggregators and aggregators and things. They both have two. I'm accepting my own changes. To, uh, okay. So I don't know what the different, I can't remember honestly in Markdown what one versus two does. Pretty sure one bolts it and two italicizes or italicizes it. Well, not positive. We could throw it into a GitHub document and uh, tell us pretty quickly. Um, any other comments or should we mark this one ready for release and put it forward as well? I think so far this one, it's, uh, we can mark it ready. Okay, um, excellent. Go to the spreadsheet. Uh, that was branch life cycle. All right, so I've got branch life cycle and change request acceptance ratio so far. We have a minute left, so we won't be able to edit anymore. Um, change request okay. acceptance ratio, okay. Um, excuse, excuse uh, me, yeah. uh, yes. what, what, what does this branch cycle release, release plan? Uh, does we plan release this metrics? Uh, this, this so metric? if it's green, it's already been released. Um, if it's this yellow color, this like light yellow, then it's in some stage of development. So before the meeting, I went through and identified the three metrics that were farthest along in their development. Um, and I think uh, we completed two of them. And I, I think um, change request comments is the third, which we don't have time for. Um, it is not as far along as the others. Um, so I would say, depending on my level of ambition and your level of ambition will push this forward or we won't um, at the end of the day, but we have two metrics ready for release um, here at the end of the evolution meeting. 
on January 27th, 2021. So um, our next meeting will be two weeks from today, which I don't know is gonna be what. I'll take a, I'll take a, um, I'll take an action item here at the end to just uh, do the do the release grunt work to push metrics forward. Okay. So we. Uh, we have released the candidate to the metrics. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we have one, two that are yeah, change request acceptance ratio and branch life cycle are both ready to hit the review cycle. And I think change request comments depends on the work that some or all of us do on it between now and Sunday. Um, so I think I don't think two I don't think two metrics. Um, is bad that, that is a is a bad showing for a working group that is that has a lot of metrics already. Um, so uh, so um, I'm proud of us. We did a good job, and uh, I'm going to stop the meeting. And um, I will see you all in two weeks. Okay. Thank you. So Sounds good. All right, thank you. you. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.